Well, the verdict's still being read out in the court behind me, but at nine minutes past ten local, the judge said that defendant Imgard F is found guilty of aiding the murder of more than 10,000 people and five cases of attempted murder in Stutthof concentration camp. Just to give you some background to this case, she is a 97-year-old who, when she was 18, worked at Stutthof concentration camp, which is near Gdansk in Poland. She worked as a secretary for the SS commander, and she's accused of basically aiding the killing of more than 10,000 people in, in the fact that she had, uh, according to the prosecution, knowledge of what was going on in that camp and to give you an idea of what was going on in that camp more than 65,000 people died uh, in Stutthof concentration camp some were gassed shot starved worked to death it was an incredibly cruel place uh, in winter they were left with very little clothes very uh, little food made to work very long hours few hours sleep one of the former uh, people who were held in there told us that at night uh, people often died in their beds to the point that every day they had to check all of the bunk beds uh, and bring the bodies to the crematorium and that the fires, the furnaces that burnt the bodies went 24 hours a day but there were so many bodies that they just couldn't keep up with the demand. So Imgard Furchner um, was accused of knowing about this. She said really very little throughout this trial. At the end... Um, of the hearings, she said that she was sorry about what had happened in Stutthof camp, but really denied any responsibility for what was going on. She claimed that she didn't know. That is something that survivors have challenged. Uh, we went to Stutthof to see where she worked and her office actually overlooks the camp and they were questioning how could she not know what was happening to the thousands of people that were being kept there how could she not smell the smoke from the fires as the bodies were being burned how could she not see the rows of prisoners starved and frightened walking in front of her window every morning now the judge has made this verdict but it's an important case because this is likely to be one of the last cases that we hear in these Nazi trials because over the last few years Germany has been trying to bring former Nazis to justice but because of their ages and as I said Imgard is 97 many of them have just become too old so she is likely to be the last case which is tried in these Nazi trials.